Oakley collab with grenade shades. Fool, I'm about getting paid. You know, get the bottles of Ace of Spades and Goose. Yeah, you never catch me with the Remy like Papoose. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Des Arnaz, one half of the Craig and Dead show. I'm with my man L.E. right here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Basically, what we're doing here at the King's Row, we're trying to uh, basically put the spotlight on everybody that's doing something in the city, whether it's uh, rapping, clothing lines, anybody, anybody that's, uh, somebody that's doing something in the city, we're trying to basically um, put put the spotlight on them and put it on the King's Row site and let it, you know, basically put it on for the city. And uh, just to dumb it down, so to say, uh, you like the plug. <laughs> but now, for real, real, we about to do an interview. You know what I'm saying? Le, the first local artist that we ever interviewed. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that. Man. I appreciate. <laughs> so that. we basically about to get into it. You know what I mean? Um, we know that you, you know, you were formerly <laughs> with Fly Union. You know what I'm saying? You're doing your solo thing now. So, right, right. but you know, basically, if you want to just touch on that a little bit and how that come about and. You know why you why you feel like you had to go solo? Um, well, I mean, um, <clears throat> with, with the fly in stuff, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Obviously, um, you know when we started the whole the whole fly in thing, it was a it was a, a ground level thing, and right. you know it snowballed and became something real special. You know what I'm saying? And and I mean I mean actually it just came to a point where it's not necessarily that <clears throat> it was like you know I didn't want to like uh continue with what they're doing cuz right. i mean that you know fly union is obviously doing well you know what i'm saying they got the value pack series stuff out you know what i'm saying with big shine i think they just put one out with currency right, right. right so i mean they're that they're, they're obviously doing well it's just that you know i had some some different ideas and different directions that that i wanted to take um you know personally and, and musically so um i just i just went with it man right. you know what i'm saying and um <clears throat> I had a lot of things I was in my heart that I wanted to do, and you know what I'm saying. Even though sometimes when your mind tell you that you need to be doing something else, you know what I'm saying. Um, I mean, sometimes you gotta go with your heart. Right. You feel me? Right. So, I, de I definitely feel that. Right. So um, you know that comes apart with the new mixtape that you're pushing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, wanna, right. you know what I'm saying? Touch on that the new mixtape and when that's coming out. When can we expect that? Right. Right. The uh, anti parachute theory. Um, Mixtape, um, you know what I'm saying? Nike is, is actually getting behind. Um, that comes out August 28th, you know what I'm saying? So look out for that. That's going to be free. It's free download for everybody. So, you know, check the blogs. Check, you know what I'm saying? Check if you follow me on Twitter, you, you know, MySpace, everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. Free August 28th, you know what I'm saying? So tell everybody you know to go download it. Um, Anti parachute theory. Yeah, yeah. And also, I want to. Clear this up too because a lot of people think that you know like the title is like a jab at people, right, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But but that's actually a net. The anti parachute theory is actually um is actually a title that I came up with um while I was I was still in Fly Union. You know what I'm saying? It was it was actually a name that we were like tossing around to use for um a, a, one of a, a Fly Union project and we never ended up using it, but. I, I thought it was dope, so, you know what I'm saying, that, that's how that title came about, right. or whatever, so I just, I just want to clear that up. Right, okay. Yeah. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? It's L to the E, I'm about to kick the ballistics. Need my microphone like a kid need Christmas. Like EPMD, I'm about my business. It's the brother that's light skin, hype like the Viking. You rhyme over vocals, so why you need a hype man? If hip hop is dead, I'm pushing Daisy. That would explain for why I'm ghostwriting crazy. My team some short shots, crew a bunch of maybes. The flow sick dog, bite, see the rabies. They say I'm conscious, I be that maybe but can i be conscious of one cars like daisy can i be cool and call my girl a lady and so, you know of course you know we pushing you on on, on the king pro site we got right, the, right, uh, the two singles that you got out the, the bulldog track right, right. Uh, um it's by rashad rashad from elevated music so, and then the uh, other track you got with jay raw the american idol the american idol uh, how, yeah. how them two tracks come about and why, why you, you that was was that was that your way of uh, basically getting it out to the people to try to get familiar with LE before the uh, project came out? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the reason why, um, cause, cause at first I wasn't gonna leak anything okay. from the from from the, the project, uh, and um, how how that came about is um, Rashad is actually uh, he has a lot to do with with the theory actually. So 
Um, I mean, he's basically executive okay. producing it. You okay. know what I mean? Like, cause he has so much to do with it, like as far as like recording and, and production and stuff like that. So, um, big ups to Rashad for that. You know what I mean? That's like my big brother. Mm -hmm. um, so, and uh, so I was already gonna work with him and link with him. I mean, everybody know I've been, uh, you know, I've been, you know, you would catch me on, this, you know, some three ID stuff like. I was on their last mixtape, so that relationship had always, has always been there. And then with the Jay Ross thing, it's, it's crazy because I've been, you know, I've been wanting to work with Ross since I was like younger. You know what I'm saying? Because he's like a legend, uh, Columbus legend. Actually, right. you know, people don't really know who Jay Ross yeah, is. Yeah, they don't. They don't. But you know what I'm saying? Jay Ross did production for um, Most Def and Talib Kweli, Black Star. Um, he was actually he did production on that album. Um, I think he actually did two joints on there. So, <clears throat> you know, as a kid, we, we always looked up to him. So I've always been wanting to work with J. Rod. Um, and we just finally made that happen. So, um, yeah, and that's how the American Idol okay. kind of came about. But if y'all don't know about Rod, I mean, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know about Rod. It's like, I walk in his man's studio, he got like handwritten raps by most deaf and like hanging on the wall. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. they call him International Rod. It's like, he. He's really there. Like, he's in, you catch Raws in Spain somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's he doing his thing yeah. real big internationally. Uh, you said you said you got Nike on the project. How did that come about? How did you get Nike to help you with the project? Um, um, the Nike thing came about is, um, you know, when I was younger, um, I, I, I knew a, a cat. And actually, I'm still cool with the cat. Uh, his name is Javier. Um, actually, I mean, he rhymes too. So, I mean, y'all might know, heard of him. Um, his name is Javier Sanchez. Um, does the reach communication stuff? Um, he's like a he's a speaker and everything like that, but he's also an MC. But I um, <clears throat> I actually came up in a program with him when I was younger, and um, I also knew a guy named Gian when I was younger. And um, Gian is actually um, the person that got the Nike thing running and, and, and going because he's actually he has a pretty good um, pretty good position okay. up there at Nike. Uh, <laughs> so you know. Um, I talked to Gian, and uh, you know what I'm saying he just he, he made things happen. So um, big up to Gian, Gian at Nike for doing that. For okay. Me too. All right. Um, as far as your musical style, like I mean, I think that was one of the main things that made you stand out. As far as when you was with you know Fly Union, and just just period. Like when you hear your style, it's just like your voice and everything like that. Like who influenced you musically um, to really pursue? Because like um, you know, I, I always notice that. You know, you always touch on like old school beats, like you did your thing over the Tupac Payne beat. You right. did your thing over uh, the J Dilla, um, one of the J Dilla beats. That was one of my favorite joints. That um, do you, remember you got your mom on the interlude. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's my joint. Doing that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, who who influenced you musically to you know what I'm saying to make you want to pursue this MC? Man, uh, so I mean, I look, I mean, I'm weird because like I grab inspiration from so many things. Right. Like, um, like I grab inspiration from movies, uh -huh. from. Like, just really everyday life, like, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, like, other artists, but I definitely do. I mean, it's obvious that I, I grab inspiration from other artists. Like, like right now, you know, like, I love, like, um, my favorite rapper right now is Jay Electronica. Uh, okay. I don't know if, if yeah, you, a, lot a lot of people ain't really familiar, familiar with him. But probably, probably, I know, I know in the city a lot of people ain't familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, Jay Electronica, man, he's, like, so dope to me. Like, so, i really been looking at him, seeing how he moved, and, um, I mean, I like Blue, you know what I'm saying, uh, Alan Cowley, like, um, Wale, you know what I'm saying, like, um, Big Sean, you know what I'm okay. saying, I actually had to, you know, pleasure to meet Big Sean, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and talk to him, um, and, and, like, and a lot of old school people, too, like, you know what I'm saying, obviously, like, the, the given, like, like, Pac and, you know what I'm saying, DOC, um, okay. you know, like, people right. like that, you know right. what I'm saying, Souls of Mischief. Like, I can sit here like, yeah. like I don't know if y'all been on like my my uh, MySpace yeah. or like my, the, the, but I, I like name. Right. I really I name. see yeah, you got like the the whole biography on, yeah, the, like, on the Facebook when your little music. Yeah, like, like check my MySpace out like my my Facebook like uh, you know slash whatever it is <laughs> slash Lee for the uncool L E for the uncool. Um, and just read it, man. Like, I put everybody that influenced me down. So just take some time to, to read it. So you might be like, oh, snap, he like them. All right, so who, so 
you know. I'm tall, man. <laughs> I'm tall dude, man. Like, Dez used to hoop, man. Like, Dez, you know, like, I knew Dez when he was younger. Like, he used to hoop. Like, and he, you know, he know I, he know that I got game. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's actually how I met Ellie, you know what I'm saying, back to the hoop thing. But, uh, 